are creeping around out there. <laughs> Lars! No problem. We've taken out more than this before, right? Yep. Just watch me, Brain. Some lunch? I am so hungry. <gasps> I forgot to scan above us, didn't I? <laughs> well, that training session was a fail. Let's reboot the hollow room before the chief finds out. Hey, I need you in my office. And he found out. <laughs> chief Quimby, before you say anything, let me explain. I'd like to meet the agency's newest recruit. Hey, pretty girl. I'm Talon. What's your name? <laughs> I'm pretty. Penny. I, uh... Hi. <sighs> Wait. Who are you? Who is he? And how could he be a recruit already? Well, his test scores are through the roof. He has PhDs in applied physics and advanced computer science, and he's a martial arts grandmaster. <laughs> I know. I'm wicked impressive. <laughs> <clears throat> Penny. Dr. Claw has returned. What? That's terrible news. But I thought he was gone for good. Our intel says Dr. Claw has been hiding in the Antarctic. We believe his first goal will be to locate and acquire his claw. No one has seen it since... Uncle Gadget declawed him. <gasps> so we should bring back Uncle Gadget to help us find the claw. <laughs> Brain. You know Uncle Gadget's gonna need our help. Huh? <gasps> 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 ah, golf. What better way to spend my retirement? Just eye up your shot, relax, and most importantly, choose the right club. <laughs> go, go, Gadget Golf Club! Oh! Oh! <gasps> A hole in one! Chief Quimby! I didn't know you golfed! Inspector Gadget, HQ needs you back. It seems Dr. Claw has returned. Dr. Claw? That is serious! And I'm just the man for the job, Chief! Go, go, Gadget Copter! Oh! <laughs> <sighs> Some things never change. Inspector Gadget, I want to welcome you back to the brand new HQ, where we recently installed a brand new security system. Hmm. Security card isn't working. Um, I think that's your gym card. Ah. 
That would explain it. And that's a credit card, coffee club card. That's a picture of a sailboat. That's a cracker. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. My old uniform. Ah. Uh. You're not getting into those old rags. No, 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 no. That simply will not do. Ah, Professor Von Slickstein. Great to see you again. I've got an idea for a totally new uniform. Something new. Something exciting. Something we've never seen before. Just step into my hero at Costuminator 5000. No, not good enough. Nope. Nope. A fall? Oops. <laughs> How did that get in there? Huh? <laughs> it's... it's perfect! Initiate transformation! Gadget 2.0! Try out your new toys! All right. Go, go, gadget skates, jet engine, lasers, and rockets! <laughs> Oh, hey, don't forget the new gumball machine. I love gum. <sighs> go, go, gadget gumball machine! Oh, let me get that. <laughs> Anywho, so, Inspector Gadget, you were the last one to see Dr. Claw's Claw. Uh, what do you remember exactly? And be as detailed as you can. I do seem to remember something about a thong. His memory chip must be damaged. We can access his memory using the Cerebral Hyperdrive Fiberlink. Then we'll, we'll be, be able, able to, to upload, upload his memories, memories using, using Nano 2 Production Protocol. protocol. <coughs> Great idea, Penny. Let's get started. We can use the holographic interface in the training room. OK, I'll meet you guys there. I just need to call my <laughs> aunt. Uncle Claw, I found a way to locate your claw. Now nothing will stop me from destroying HQ. Oh, one more thing. Inspector Gadget's back. See ya. Gadget. What? I was just talking to Doctor Ant Claw Dead. Oh. Ah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Stay, good boy. Are you ready, Uncle Gadget? I'm as ready as I've ever been. Establishing optical link. I'm washing all the grease off. Okay, and we're quickly rewinding. Ah, there I am during my last battle with Dr. Claw. You know, they still teach that technique to this day. Anyway, Claw was aiming his long-range stink missile right at HQ. Dr. Claw had a stink missile? <laughs> Next thing I knew, I wound up with this fabulous mat. Dr. Claw's Claw. Oh, ah! Go, go, gadget! Band-Aid. There it is. It's in a village in the rainforest. Brain, what happened? Your flea bag sniffed the wrong butt. Oh, and thanks, Penny. My uncle will be happy to have his claw back. You're Dr. Claw's nephew? Dr. Claw's nephew? Don't worry, Penny. I've got him. Go, go, Gadget Rocket Skate. No, Uncle Gadget. Oh! Tell you, you're better at this than I thought you'd be. Oh, thanks. Uh, hey, that's it. Yeah. Well, it's been fun. <gasps> Almost forgot. Say goodbye to HQ's power and gadget. Call me. Oh. <laughs> 
losers. Oops, looks like someone forgot their phone, and it's ringing. No, Uncle Gadget. Hello? <laughs> Uncle Gadget, are you okay? Gadget, are you okay? Not to worry, Penny. Go, go, Gadget, flashlight. Lamp? Glow stick, maybe? Oh, no. We need to find a way to restart Uncle Gadget. Chief, we've got to find Dr. Claw's claw! Mad Cat, what do you think of this temporary claw? Is it working? No. Hey, hey, what's up, Uncle C? Where have you been? You were to report back hours ago. But, Uncle Claw, I did call. I left, like, a billion messages. You have one billion messages. Delete. Ah. Do. It's in some town in the middle of the rainforest. You know how big rainforests are, right? I don't care. Bring me my claw, then I will finally launch my stink missile with it. The stench will render HQ unusable forever. Why'd you have to make your claw the key to the missile? Why not, like, a real key? Or even better, no key. Just get my claw. No doubt Gadget and his pesky niece will be after it soon. You think Penny's coming? No nephew of Dr. Claw can come in here and mess with our stuff. Talon is going down for betraying me. Uh, I mean, everyone. <clears throat> well, you have to get going to find the Claw before Talon does. I have an idea. Why don't we take the Gadget Mobile? I have a better idea. Why don't we take the Gadget Mobile? <laughs> My old trusty Gadget Mobile, just as good as new. More rusty than trusty. Why don't we use the new gadget mobile? I'm sure we can still fix the old one. Maybe with a new paint job? New gadget mobile it is. It's a little more subtle than my old one. My map. The village is just around those trees. If we hoof it, you should be able to beat Talon. I like your enthusiasm, but we don't know what's lurking here. Man could be all around us. Like maybe here. Brain, Talon is here somewhere. You go on ahead and see if you can spot Over him. There. But make sure he doesn't spot you. Uh -huh. <laughs> This way, Penny. There's no time to waste. The claw's gotta be around this village somewhere. It may look like a village, Penny, but my trained eye sees what it really is. A cutting-edge mad face. Aha! Run! It's a mad agent! Gadget, look! No time for bird watching now, Penny. I've got to stop this mad agent. Stop where you are! Stop! <laughs> <laughs> How about a hand for Talon? <laughs> you know, cause like the claw is like a hand. Yeah, I get it. It's just lame, Talon. Like you. Oh. 
だ。Rocket skates. You're not taking anything, Talon. Sure, I am. And when I bring my uncle his claw, I'll be the winner, and you'll be stuck here. Chief Quimby, Talon escaped with the claw. We know Claw was last seen in the Antarctic. That must be where he's headed. Then that's where we're headed, Chief. Claw, how I've missed you. Time to send a message. The stick missile strike. The smell will render HQ useless forever. Why wouldn't you start the timer at like two? Boom, done. That would be perfect. Well, that's not how it's done. Everyone, remember where we parked. Talon is here, which means Dr. Claw must be here too. This way. Crisp, fresh Arctic air. Uh, that stink is coming from down there. Someone should really tell them about this smell. I could get down to them in a hurry. Go, go, gadget skis. Uncle Gadget? A shortcut. Good idea, me. Brain, you look after Uncle Gadget. I've got to shut down that missile, capture Talon, and get Dr. Claw's claw. Someone's coming after me. It must be a mad agent trying to stop me. Fortunately, I'm an expert skier. Can't stay away, can you, Penny? Well, I needed to get close enough to kick your butt. Sorry, I don't have time. Maybe when we meet again. Catch you later. Gadget and HQ in the same game. <laughs> ah! Ah! Uncle Claude! No, wait! Ah! 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 Time to catch this mad agent. Go, go, Gadget! Handcuffs!
shot. <coughs> Uncle Gadget, you did it. You stopped the stink missile. I did? I mean, yes, of course I did. Good work, team. You saved HQ. Thanks, Chief. But Uncle Gadget, Dr. Claw got away. And now we have his nephew Talon to worry about, too. <laughs> Uncle Claw? Anyone? A little help here, please? <laughs> the Mega Atena atop towering towers. With this, I will take over every satellite in orbit, and MAD will control global communications! MAGAT! No! I spent all afternoon working on that model! Why would you even build a scale model? You have powerful computers. You can make a 3D image in, like, seconds. Because, nephew, model building is an art. Have you infiltrated the building? Piece of cake. If a cake had red-hot rivets. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. You are really just taking all of the enjoyment out of this plan. Don't you have some evil training or something to do? Fine. I need my own lair. Ah, the perfect towering sandwich. Moonbase High School Dance 2, starring Jake Alien. OMG, it's so romantic. I can't believe we've waited one whole month for the sequel. Wow. Oh, you remember the time I chased an alien, Penny? I chased him during a case, and you kept calling him Stop It's Brain. Um, Uncle Gadget, I think you're supposed to use those napkins. <laughs> Chief Quimby! Inspector Gadget, Penny, I have a new mission. Towering Towers is the world's tallest skyscraper currently under construction. We have information that MAD will try to break in before its grand opening next month. I need you to go check it out. This message will self-destruct. You got it, Chief. The fastest way to get there is by using the G portal. Are you sure, Uncle Gadget? I mean, it still has a few glitches to work out, doesn't it? Nonsense, Penny. It's perfectly fine. But Penny, what about the movie? I'll be back in time, Kayla. I wouldn't miss it. If my calculations are correct, and they always are, the tower should be right over there. This doesn't look like a giant skyscraper. Someone must have moved it. Uncle Gadget, the tablecloth! Silly me. I completely forgot about it. And it's full of crabs. Where the mad agents are. Just look at this mess. This isn't safe at all. I'll have to find someone to clean this up. Go, go, gadget copter. Brain, you keep an eye on him. I'll see if the work crews have seen anything suspicious. at the building. Eliminate him. No problem. I have a special little surprise ready for him. <laughs> Get this. La, 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 la. No spoilers. Just, just do it. I'll watch to see how it turns out. I need to speed this search up. Go, go, gadget jet engines. Whoa. 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 Huh. I thought they'd have more kick. <laughs> Oh, 
Those cleaners better be careful. There's broken glass everywhere. <sighs> wow. How tall is this building anyway? Just got the tickets. So when are you going to be done your mission? And how's your mission going? And what is your mission? Great. Soon. Okay, so far. And I can't tell you till you get a higher security clearance. Fine, but I just hope you wrap it up soon. I don't want to see this movie without you. <laughs> this should cut Gadget down to size. <laughs> Deconstruction droid, destroy Inspector Gadget. Directive accepted. <laughs> Just look at this mess. Oh, one of those new robot vacuum cleaners. There must be something wrong with it. Good thing I'm an expert in robot repair. Go, go, gadget toolkit. <laughs> Friendly little thing. <laughs> that must be an agent of mad. You! Now, to see if I can find any evidence of mad. Excuse me, have there been any suspicious people sneaking around? I know you. You're Gadget's little girl's sidekick. First, I am not a little girl. And second, I'm not a sidekick. This is a sidekick. <laughs> Huh? Ah! Talon! Hey, Penny. How's it going? Oh, you know, fine. Uh... Hey, enough with the charm, you! <laughs> <laughs> so, mad few. Good thing I showed up when I did, right? <laughs> The vent needs repairing. Why are we hanging on to this one, Talon? I mean, why don't we just toss her over the side? No, I, I mean, why get rid of her when we can make her watch as we take control of the antenna and all of Earth's satellites? Very much better than just tossing her off the side. Huh. Ah, come back! This place is even more dangerous than I thought. Get back here! Don't think so. But as soon as I get free of this... Whatever you're doing here, Talon, it's not gonna work. Hacking the Global Satellite Communications Array? It's totally going to work. You're already too late to stop it. Power up! Penny, I think the tower's cleaning robot may have malfunctioned. But not to worry, I can fix it. Construction droid, initiate self-destruct sequence gamma. Initiating self-destruct mode. Uncle Gadget, you've got to get away from it. Not to worry, Penny. I can fix it, no problem.
Penny, but it looks like we need another cleaning robot to clean up this cleaning robot. Great work, Gadget. Oh no, Kayla and the movie. You are not going to believe this. Jake Alien is here. We can totally get his autograph. No way. Oh man, I'll never make it there before it ends. Not to worry, Penny. I'll get you there on time. Thanks, Uncle Gadget. Go, go, Gadget G Portal. for a month. Oh, and also, next time, Gadget. Next time. Have a look at this fascinating documentary all about aliens. It's very informative. Aliens. <laughs> yeah, right. Huh. <gasps> Chief Quimby! You've got a new mission, Inspector Gadget. The multinational space station is reporting several strange occurrences, and now one of the chief astronauts has gone missing. Your mission is to investigate the space station and find the astronaut. This message will self-destruct. A missing astronaut is clearly the work of an alien intruder. It's a good thing I just saw that documentary. You mean that movie, Aliens vs. Other Aliens 3? Yes, very informative. Oh. <laughs> uh. To travel in space, you need a ship. But why go in a boring old rocket when you can fly in style? Behold! The This Isn't Your Father's Rocket Ship Rocket Ship! No need for a spacesuit while inside! But if you do, I made suits out of this polymer. I call it Smells Like Polymer. Very cool, Slick. You'll also need these. All you do is put one on, push the button, and... Bam! Instant helmet and air supply! Oh, great work, Professor. So long, Earth. Hello, not Earth. Huh. Wowzers, Penny. The space station is a lot bigger than what I saw in the documentary. I wonder what the alien is doing right now. You must be Inspector Gadget and the trainee, uh, Penny. I am Commander Mad Hyle, Chief Cosmonaut. I trust you are here to locate what is taking our astronauts? That is correct. It's clear that this abduction is the work of aliens. Or probably not. But that doesn't well... change the fact that someone is missing, and we're gonna find out why. <laughs> It may take you a minute or two to get used to the gravity in here. No problem. I've been using gravity since I was a teenager. Let's have a look around. Oh! What's happening? Ah, just a little power outage. Don't make the worry. Another astronaut is gone. It was alien. You, sir, for sure, could not have been anything else. No way. Just as I suspected. Could it actually be? Absolutely. And we've got to go after it. Brain, you keep an eye on Uncle Gadget. I'm going to have a look around. There's no way this is really an alien. This kitchen is the perfect alien editorium, which is what they call kitchens in Alien. No sign of aliens. And the food is all gone. There may be more evidence inside the perfectly safe freeze closet. Yes. Aliens love their food cold. Hmm. <laughs> huh? ah, 
the door accidentally closed behind me. <laughs> Foolish inspector. <laughs> Hello? Getting a bit windy in here. Go, go, gadget suction cut. Controls. Keep Uncle Gadget safe. I'll see what more I can find out. The person or thing that did this has to be around somewhere. Where are you? Huh? <laughs> huh. Unless this alien is from the planet Plastic, this isn't an alien at all. I knew it. And I bet I know who's behind it, too. Down this instant. Is everything going smoothly? Uh, not so much. Penny and Gadget made the trip out here and are kind of gunking things up for me. And look what she did to my costume. Gadget! Even in zero gravity, he wins on my patience. About those plans. Sure, the space station is the perfect attachment for the mad magnifying glass, but are you sure all you want to do with it is burn the Grand Canyon into an even grander canyon? You have a better idea. Yeah, like maybe threatening to destroy anything we want if we don't get a zillion dollars. <sighs> so much to learn. What would we do with a zillion dollars? Hmm? Instead, I will make the grandest canyon of all, and it will be called... The Grand Clonion. That kind of sounds like the Grand Onion. And just like an onion, it will make people cry. Just prepare the station for docking the lens while Commander Mad Hale gets rid of Gadget. It better be done before we arrive. Hang on! Don't worry, I'll instruct you! Just call me Instructor Gadget, and I'll call you hmm. Al. <laughs> Great. We are bridging the gap between our planets already, Al. It is very important in human culture to greet someone when you first see them. It sets everything off on the right foot, <laughs> or tentacle, or whatever you may have. <laughs> That's perfect. Nicely done, Al. The handshake doesn't work with you out there. We need some human-to-alien FaceTime. I'm coming to get you. Let's find this plastic alien. So that's where all the missing astronauts are. See? Isn't it much better to actually be inside with me? Since you can't speak our language, you may be able to communicate through art. Like this. Now to add the finishing touch. Go, go, Gadget Water Paint! Good! You've learned greetings. Now let's talk about Earth sports. I'm getting you out of there. I was hoping for a creepy alien, but all I got is a creep. Commander Matt Hale? 
Looks like the alien is out of the bag. Huh, the thing was getting hot anyway. Uncle Claw's almost here, which means this space station is soon to be mad. All mad! Haha, <laughs> perfect fit. Yes, well done, Talon. You won't get away with this, Talon. Again, Gadget. Don't mention it. Someone has to teach these aliens how to play tennis. Um, could use a pickup here. Find your own way home. <laughs> Next time, Gadget. Next time. No, 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 no. I can't figure out how to launch my new high tech website. Here, let me do it. I was just about to do that. <laughs> Isn't it great? I designed it myself. I'm planning to use it to recruit a teen army that will take over Metro City. No one is gonna want to follow you on that. It's terrible. Oh, you think I should use the tweet for twit? <laughs> oh, whatever it is, at least this took some old fashioned evil work to design. Yeah, anywho. I wanted to tell you that I've created this mind control device that I plan on using tonight at the concert. I'm going to impersonate international pop star Nigel Saint de la Peppertone III, Esquire the Fourth, and then take over his entire audience of adoring fans. Then you'll have your teen army. Huh? Fine. You can try your stupid plan. And after it fails, then we can launch my website. I just need to use this mad disguise of Maddox 6000 for the perfect Nigel lookalike disguise. Hmm. Ow! No wonder we never use this. It kind of burns. <laughs> oh? <laughs> Gonna see Nigel in concert tonight! Oh. A band of attacking oh. kettles? Uncle Gadget, it's Nigel, international pop star Whistler! Ah, Whistling, the finest of the bodily made musical arts. The barbecue! <laughs> Chief Quimby, what are you doing here? You've got a new mission, Gadget. HQ has gotten word that Matt plans to kidnap international pop star Nigel Sandula Peppertone the Fourth Esquire the Third before tonight's concert. You want to make sure he arrives at the concert safely. This message will self-destruct. We'll get right to it, Chief. Nelson Peppermint, Inspector Gadget reporting for security duty. Hi, I'm Petty, and I want you to know that I'm... Let me guess, you're a fan? Of course you are. There's been a complication. Gadget and Penny are here, and Penny's going gaga over Nigel saying Dula Peppertone the fourth Esquire the third. Gadget is there? Yeah, and Penny. I mean, what does she even see in this guy? You must stop Gadget. He will ruin everything. <laughs> You know, Niles... It's Nigel, actually. Ah, yes. Yeah, sorry, Niger. As I was saying, I know a thing or two about music, too. I was the front singer for a popular jazz and opera group in my younger days. 
Go, 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 gadget, gadget. Go, 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 gadget, gadget, go. Go, 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 gadget, go, gadget, go. Go, 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 go. Sorry, mate. I'm sure you think that I think it's very interesting, but I don't. Shouldn't we be going? What you are? To the gadget mobile. Not necessary. I brought my own ride. Wowzers! Great idea! We should split up. That way, Mad won't know what car you're really in. I'll follow to make sure the coast is clear. Ooh, this is nice! <sighs> yeah, so listen, I need some private time. You know how it is. Um, yeah. Sure. So, Penny, did you want another picture with me? Or maybe, you know, we could get together after the show. Really? That would be amazing. Wait a minute. What happened to your accent? Oh, yeah, <laughs> that. I just thought I'd try something different. Since you like Nigel, I mean, me so much, why don't we go see a movie? Hey, I know that voice. You're Talon. Okay, you got me. But I had you there, didn't I? What are you up to, Talon? It's brilliant, actually. I'm gonna impersonate your favorite pop star, who you're all in love with, and mind control his audience to create a teen army for my Uncle Claw. But seriously, if I wear the mask, would you want to go out? That's your plan? Well, it doesn't have to be a movie. Oh, the mind control. Yeah. That's a terrible plan. Fine. I try and I try. Huh? A little quiet, please. Nigel. We've got to get out of here. Engage autopilot. Ah, here he comes now. <laughs> Nando, nice to see you again. It's Nigel, actually. I thought you'd ride with Penny. I thought I'd ride back here with you. Right you are, Norbert. <clears throat> There's no safer place than with Inspector Gadget. Let's go. Oh. And on the way, I can play you my demo up. You're what now? Go, 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 gadget, go, gadget, go. Oh, oh, no. Go, 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 gadget, go. Breen, Talon has us trapped inside the limo. We need your help. Uh -huh. <laughs> Clock yet? Time for my Eurasian Mocha Soka Mud Mask. You know we're trapped, right? Not to mention, Mad is gonna mind control your entire audience, turning them into an army of evil. Ah, here it is—the vinyl copy. <laughs> this one's got gum all over it. <laughs> it would be nice if I had my dragon skin socks. You know what would be really nice. If you got off your butt and helped! Do you know how much my butt is insured for? I thought you were this super awesome talent, but now I see you're just a pampered, selfish jerk. I am so done being your fan. <gasps> you're right. I've been so busy getting exotic animal smoothies that I forgot how to be a normal person. Go, 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 Hmm. So, what exactly do you need me to do? Huh? <gasps> That's it. Whistling. Just whistle. I'll do the rest. Too late! We're going off the end of the pier! Yeah! Oh, uh, never mind. We make a pretty good team. Yeah! Time to get you to your concert and stop Talon. We made it just in time, Nestor. And if you need any backup out there, 
I've got this. Now go break a leg. No big deal. House is staring right at me. Come on. Got this. No, you don't. This isn't Nigel. He's a fake. Here's the real Nigel. I don't need a mask to use this. You are all under my control. Uh. <laughs> it works. I now have a teen army for Uncle Claw, and he didn't think it would work. Oh, no. Nesbitt is putting his entire audience to sleep. I'd better do something. Go, go, Gadget record player! Today's work, Penny. Great work, Gadget. Nigel is safe, and we've nabbed Mad's mind control device. I want to dedicate this next song to a very special person. Me. And I suppose, Penny. We were this close to having a teen army. I knew your plan wouldn't work. Luckily, we still have my website. Woohoo! I have more followers! It's just Mad Cat. No! my invention in the mail. Why did I have to come here to present it? Well, I bet it'll be the best one at the convention. I couldn't agree more. Also, I don't remember what it is. That's because he hasn't told us yet. Uh. Sorry, Penny. You need level 5 clearance to get an early look, and you're only at level 4. Well, I'm at level 13. Go, go, Gadget. Next. Uh. Uh. Um... Who's flying the car? Wowzers! <laughs> ah, perfect parking. The Gizmo Garb Tech Show, the showcase for tech-related fashion. <gasps> this is so amazing and so very terrifying. There's no reason to be nervous. You are a tech fashion guru with an important invention to show. You're right. <laughs> it's just the whole presenting thing makes me nervous. Because of the crowd? A crowd is nothing to fear, Professor. It's just tens of thousands of people watching your every move. Wowzers! Chief Quimby is trapped in some kind of invisible force field. Go, go, Gadget! Force field breaker! Oops. Sorry, Chief. That's all right, Gadget. Here's your mission. HQ has learned that Mad's fashion agent, Corsetta Camisole, is at the tech show. 
She's a master of disguise who will stop at nothing to get von Slickstein's invention. Your mission is to protect the professor and stop Corsetta. This message will self-destruct. We're on it, Chief. Oops. I believe this is yours. Brain, you watch over Uncle Gadget. I'll stay with the professor. Oh, Corsetta Camisole could be anywhere wearing anything. With my keen eye and attention to detail, I'd better be on the lookout for anything even remotely strange. Aha! An agent of mad if I ever saw one. Your plastic coating doesn't fool me. Strike a pose, Inspector Gadget. Aha! So, hiding in plain sight? Corsetta Camisole! Go, go, Gadget! Handcuffs! Wowzers, you should really drink more milk. Ooh, this dressing room's nice. Let's order room service. Some food might make you feel better. Huh, why not? Anything to take my mind off this presentation. Professor Von Flickstein, ten minutes to presentation. <laughs> well, at least there's no sighting of Corsetta Camisole yet. Brain, who did this to you? <laughs> Corsetta Camisole? She's heading our way? My invention. She's coming to get it. You yeah, protect it, Penny. It's too important to fall into mad hands. But you have to present it. I can't present it if it's stolen. Fine, I'll protect it. <laughs> but I can only play keep away until you're due on stage. Meet me there in 10 minutes. Stop, you agent of mad! <laughs> Aren't you gadgets annoying niece? Out of my way, little girl. Hey, aren't you one of Dr. Claw's thugs? Out of my way, old lady. She uses her purse as a weapon? Who does that? Sorry! Sorry! Where did she go? Professor Von Slickstein, six minutes to presentation. Would you stop saying that? Who is it? I should warn you, I have a shoe with a heel. <gasps> Wait, that's the secret HQ knock. Uh, whoa, whoa. Mm. Ah, the Otto Floppy Restraint Hat. Unbreakable polyfiber ribbons, auto camouflage, unattractive spray. That corsetta camisole is good. Oh, why, thank you. Huh? Brain, have you seen the professor? I think Corsetta's heading back to get him. You could say that. <laughs> you fools actually believe that I came to steal one invention? If I kidnap the professor, I get all the inventions. If you harm one hair on his head... Oh, he's fine. I have the professor. Now all of his brilliant ideas will belong to me. I hope you folded him properly. I don't like my scientists wrinkled unless they're really old. Actually, even then, it kind of creeps me out. You're a wily one, Corsetta Camisole. But nothing escapes the watchful eye of Inspector Gadget. Oh, pardon me, ma'am. Here, let me help you with your very noisy trunk. Oh, why, thank you, sir, whom I totally don't know at all. What? That mad agent is stealing your very noisy trunk. Stand back, ma'am. I'll stop her. Go, go, Gadget Grabbers! Whoa! <laughs> Separate the baggage from the bag. 
You, little girl, are becoming a nuisance! You're the nuisance, Corsetta, and I'm not a little girl. <laughs> Great Professor! Climb out! Yes, it belongs to a very irate woman who's trying to get it back. <laughs> Behold, my very fetching handbag! Impressive! That attendee has my vote for best gizmo garb. Professor, under the runway! Look under the runway! Huh? And pew! Ah, my personal armor device! Just take it and run! Huh? <laughs> no! I've done enough running! Ooh, so brave! Let me capture the moment! That's your invention? Underwear? Not just underwear. Armorwear! is trying to kidnap the professor. Go, go, gadget handcuffs! <laughs> Just doing my job, folks. <laughs> I did it, Penny! I presented my invention to a crowd! And it's all thanks to you. So, what do you think of my personal armor wear now? Good job, professor. Not likely I'll ever wear it, but... Corsetta, where is the professor? He foiled me with his terribly unfashionable underwear. I mean, who would even wear such a thing? Oh, and Gadget got away. What? Gadget! <laughs>